I'm Colleen Estrinos, and right now on your 13 Action News update, the Clark County Coroner's Office has identified one set of human remains found at Lake Mead. A county spokesperson says they belong to 42-year-old Thomas Ernst. He reportedly drowned on August 2nd, 2002. His remains were discovered on May 7th in Colville Bay. Officials say he was identified from DNA analysis and reports from the original incident. Construction on the Courtyard Homeless Resource Center is set to be finished up at the end of this year. Phase two of the expansion includes pet kennels, laundry services, additional showers and services as well. Now for five years, the facility has been helping people get off the streets and they also connect those in need to mental health providers, legal assistance and also job information. Last year, more than 6,500 people had services to that courtyard. Today is the last Senior Energy Assistance Expo. NB Energy and Southwest Gas will have people on hand to help Southern Nevada seniors who are at least 62 years old. You can apply for up to $300 in bill assistance and also learn how to lower your energy bills. It's happening from 8 a.m. to noon. It's at the Aliante Casino and Hotels Grand Ballroom. Justin. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Awful muggy on this Thursday. Our temperatures uh, not quite as hot as they've been the last few days. The increased humidity caps the afternoon highs right around 100 degrees. We will watch mountain thunderstorms around the middle of the day turn into a few scattered valley thunderstorms as we head into the early in the mid afternoon. Although the activity is going to be isolated down here in the Las Vegas Valley, a couple neighborhoods uh, could see some heavy downpours, some lightning and some strong wind gusts. Upper 90s again on Friday, still humid tomorrow. Another small chance of rain and storms Friday afternoon. Clean, it should be a dry weekend, close to 100. Nice to have completely dry weather for your weekend plans, although it will be a bit breezy. All right, Justin, thank you. You can always get the latest news on KTNV.com, our KTNV mobile app, our Roku channel, and the latest version of Apple TV.